Hello, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Nick Zulovich, part of the team at Cherokee Media Group and senior editor of AutoFin Journal and Subprime Auto Finance News. In today's webinar, seven ways text messaging will boost your dealership's bottom line. We're going to learn more from Tyson Brown and John Iyer from Podium. But before we get started, I want to go over a few housekeeping items for today's webinar. Please make sure you've dialed in using the phone number provided in your communication email, or you're able to listen via your PC speakers. We are recording today's webinar, and we'll make the recording available to you as soon as possible. You will be in listen-only mode for this webinar, but we will reserve some time after the presentation for a Q&A session. You can submit your questions at any time through the questions box on the GoToWebinar control panel. And if we aren't able to get to your question today, don't worry, because we'll forward it to the team at Podium so they can reply back to you directly via email. And lastly, if you have any difficulty during today's webinar, please click on the hand icon to alert a member of our team. So with plenty of knowledge and recommendations to share, let's get right to Tyson and John for our webinar. Gentlemen, the floor is now yours. Uh, thanks for having us, Nick. Um, uh, as you mentioned, my name is John Aram. I'm, I'm a product marketing manager here at Podium. I'm joined by Tyson Brown. He's a regional sales director in our automotive space. Today we're going to talk about the many reasons why your dealership should be texting if it isn't already. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to quickly go over the agenda. Today we're going to try and answer the question, why are dealerships adopting text messaging at an unprecedented rate. We're gonna talk a little bit also about some of the things you can do to get your business ready to start engaging with your customers via text messaging. And finally, we'll close by giving you some tips um, for using text messaging, not only to improve the car buying experience, but to also boost your bottom line. Uh, and as Nick mentioned, we're gonna take all the questions at the end, but whenever you have them, just type them in and um, you know, we'll answer them at the end of the um, the presentation if there is enough time. So the way that customers are researching and finding your dealership and wanting to engage with you is changing. The process now is a lot more detached. Um, in the past, customers would consume your advertising and marketing materials. They talk to their friends and family asking for advice about which car to buy and where to buy it. Maybe they give you a call before ultimately coming to your dealership to take a look at what you have to offer. Today, that process is much different. Um, most of the research is gonna happen online. Customers are gonna Google your dealership or a specific, you know, they're gonna Google businesses or dealerships near them. And they're gonna look at the review scenario down their choices. And, th and then if they want to engage with you, a vast, a vast majority of them would like to do that through a messaging app, whether that be SMS text messaging or Facebook Messenger or whatever. You can see there on that slide, these stats here, 89% of consumers want to use messaging to communicate with the business, um, but only 48% of businesses, are, and of those 89%, 48% um, would prefer to do it via um, SMS text messaging. The problem is, is only about half of businesses nowadays are set up to accept uh, text messaging. Um, the other stat on there that's pretty, um, um, pretty crazy to me is that 97% of American adults text weekly. Um, that's you know almost all of us. Um, and a lot of times when we talk to businesses about why they need to start texting, they're going to push back and say, you know, only millennials or younger people are texting. My customer base is older, and they would prefer to make a call. Um, but these numbers there, they just don't bear that out. Um, to just you know reiterate that point, just like to share. A personal story about my life, you know, and the relationship I have with my mother it happens almost exclusively via text messaging. You know, every now and then she'll try to slip in a FaceTime call, but I'm quickly just going to decline that because <laughs> um, I just don't want to do that. I'd rather just text, even with my mother. Um, and and now, you know, some of her text messages are going to be indecipherable because she's not noticing um, the auto correcting, but she, even in her old age, I mean, she's not that old, she's 70, but she's adapted her communication habits to the advances in technology and to, you know, meet with her children's preferences. 
Um, so what does that mean for businesses that aren't willing to adapt to the changing communication preferences of their customer base? Simply put, they're just gonna be left behind. Today's consumer values convenience way more than loyalty. And if you don't make it easy for customers to engage with you and do business with you, they're just gonna move on to the dealership that will. But the good thing about involving your business communication to include text messaging, um, this is not hard. I would just, I would dare say that most of your employees are already texting with customers quite a bit. So you won't necessarily have to teach new behaviors. You'll just have to put the tools in place to make it easier for you to track and manage those conversations that are already taking place. And we'll, we'll show you how to do that a little later in the presentation, but these solutions are pretty easy to implement. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk about some of the reasons why your customer don't want to text with you. The biggest reason is that it's just easy. You know, we've all been through it. We've all called up a business and you get stuck in this never ending call tree or you know exactly the department you want to talk to, but you just have to traverse this maze uh, ultimately to get to the right person. Um, and a lot of times when you're doing this, you're going to get connected with the wrong person on the first Pass and you'll have to go through that whole thing all over again. And this happened to me recently. Uh, I lost my credit card. I needed to get a new one. I, I called the number on their website and I had to navigate through balance, through payments, through fraud, all these things to just, you know, just to get this, report this card missing and to get a new one sent out. And the whole time I'm just yelling into my receiver, you know, operator, operator, because I just want to talk to a person because I, you know, I knew what I needed and I knew what I wanted, but I was just having a hard time getting connected to that right person. And the funny thing about that is that that same credit card company, they'll send me a text message notification whenever they feel like, uh, you know, uh, charge is fraudulent um, or they suspect some sort of suspicious activity. Um, so they make it easy to report fraud in that regard, but they don't make it easy um, to, uh, to get that new card. So maybe they should, you know, see uh, if, if, if it was me, if it were me, I would make it easier to, to communicate. Um, like, and they, and they already see the value in texting in some areas. But let me contrast that with the experience I had recently with my insurance company. You know, not too long, I had, not too long ago, I had an experience where I needed to file an, insur an insurance claim. And if anyone who's gone through that, it's just like this long drawn out process where you have to keep providing more and more information um, to support your claim. But luckily for me, instead of having to call my insurance agent every time I got a new request um, uh, or, to, or I had questions about the process, I could just shoot him a quick text message and he'd you know, shoot me a text message right back. Um, and that's what's great about text messaging is it's asynchronous. You, know, you don't have to have, both parties don't have to be available to connect. People can send when they think of something, when they have a question and you can respond when it's convenient. And, um, it's uh, you know best for you. So it not only improves cu customer satisfaction, but um, you'll see here that it's it's more efficient. Um, you can see from these stats that 99% of text messages are opened, uh, with 90% of those being opened within three minutes, um, and that's much better than email, which has an open rate around 25 to 30%, and a response rate around two to five percent. This is definitely true for me as a consumer. If you look at my phone right now, um, I have, let's see, no text messages, but I have 119 unread emails. And this is like pretty low for me. I just recently did some spring cleaning and cleaned out about, you know, three or 4,000 unread emails um, because I just, I will just like scroll through and open the ones that I know are important to me and then just leave the ones that aren't unopened. Um, and I think a lot of people are like that, you know, especially these, these stats bear that out. So if you wanna make sure that people are seeing your messages, why don't you uh, try and give them, um, speak to them on their terms and through the communication channel that they preferred. And for many people, as we mentioned, that is through um, some sort of messaging platform, whether that be text messaging or Facebook Messenger. Um, but you just, you don't have to take my word for it. Here are the results um, from some po from some Podium users that are interacting with their customers via text messaging. 77% um, feel customers are more satisfied with their business. 
66% feel they are developing more positive customer relationships, and they're saving about five hours per week. Um, so it's it makes your customers happier, but it also helps you do um, better. You know, save more time. You know, give you more time to deal with those customers that are actually in your dealership as opposed to being on the phone talking to, to customers. So now that um, we're done talking about why you should be texting with your customers, it's time to move on to the how, how you, how you should go about texting um, your customers. Over the rest of the presentation, I'm going to go through some steps that you need to take to implement text messaging for your business. And the first thing we suggest doing is setting up Google Click to Message in your Google My Business page. Google's made this super easy for you to do. I just want to walk you quickly through through the process. To get started, you'll just need to log in to your Google My Business page and then select Messaging. It's in, in the upper left menu. Um, and then you'll just add your telephone number you want to receive text messages on, and then Google will just send you a pin to verify that. And right, you know, almost immediately when we see customers set this up, they're they're getting messages in um, inbound leads almost immediately. Um, so we highly recommend you setting up Google Click to Message. Um, just to just to add one thought there, that's uh, Tyson here, um, John. The Google's made some some pretty significant changes, and and this is this is one of them, enabling customers that want to text a business um, to be able to do so. You will notice over the next few months, if you already have this set up, or if you haven't and, and are going to set this up that this will will no longer happen through um, regular SMS anymore. It's it's transitioning over to messaging through the Google Maps application. Um, and from a customer experience, it'll change a little bit, but it'll change significantly from the business experience. And so that's just one one change that Google is trying to make to, to, to make it an easier experience for your customer. But you will need to have a platform some, something similar to Podium or, or a, a manageable platform to help you manage these conversations kind of going forward. So just throw that out there. If, if, if anyone hasn't already turned that on, definitely do so. It's a, it's a huge asset to your business. Um, and, uh, and if you have any additional questions about maybe how to or some of those additional changes, we'd love to give you insights there. Yep, yep. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. The messaging is, is going to be happening through the Google Maps app now. There will just be a that same messaging icon inside of the Google Maps app that was you know, in that Google My Business listing. So in addition to, to Google Click to Message, we also encourage you guys to enable um, your landline to be a textable number. Um, and find, you know, there are lots of um, people out there or lots of business out there that can help you do that. Podium is one of those. If you're a Podium customer and you don't already have your landline enabled for text messages, just get a hold of someone in support or customer success, um, and they can get you set up. And if you're not a Podium customer, there are a number of providers out there who can help you make that switch. Um, but we, you know, we're here. We strongly suggest you, you know, become a Podium customer. That's why we're here today. And th this, again, guys, I'll just just highlight the the importance from a from a tactical standpoint on this. You want to make your your business and your dealership in, in particular the easiest dealership for your customer to communicate with and to choose. And by having one number that they can save in their phone as, as you know, my car dealership or, or, you know, whatever it is, where they can call you or text you just like any other contacts, that's, that's huge for customer retention, loyalty, and, and repeat customers. So if you don't already have this, this is, this is a big asset to the business. Um, <clears throat> and and we've, seen, we've seen numerous success stories where, where dealerships, uh, you know, can can say to their customers, call or text us at any time, and um, and it's a big win for them. So now that you've got that, um, now once you get your uh, number set up to accept text messages, we suggest you publish that number everywhere, and and with the instruction to either call or text us. Um, so be, we we. Mention you do that because a lot, you know, this texting, the idea of texting a business number is going to be new for a lot of customers. So you want to just make sure that they know that that is a possibility. So put it on your website, on all your business listings, your email signature, even your business cards. Let them know that this number can be called or texted. We found that customers who have done all this, they're, they're seeing an inordinate amount of leads coming through. 
because people are able to just do it on their own time. They're able to quickly send a text message, um, you know, while they're, you know, maybe they're searching after hours and, you know, there's no one at the dealership to call, but they text and say, hey, do you have this, you know, specific car still on the lot? And it makes it easy to set up those appointments, you know, even if um, you're closed. So the next thing we suggest is to get a, um, put together a customer interaction platform like the one offered by Podium to manage all of your text conversations. A customer interaction platform, it'll help you consolidate all those conversations into a single dashboard, making it easy for you to respond quickly or to assign conversations to the right person so you can more easily answer their questions and, and get them from you know becoming an online searcher to an offline buyer. And that's really what our goal is, you know, is a lot of people aren't going to be willing to make that purchase of an automobile online, but they're going to do all that research, like we said. So push them from that online conversation to an offline purchase. Um, so it's also going to help you empower your employees to deliver, you know, best in class customer service because your response time is going to be much quicker. People aren't going to have to wait with the phone ringing. They can just shoot off that te text message and wait for you to respond. So with that, I'm going to transition over to Tyson. We're just going to walk you through some scenarios uh, of what your business can do to, to set up text messaging. Perfect. Thanks, John. A lot of good information in there. Um, hopefully, hopefully some of that was uh, familiar to you guys. Um, some of it was new. Uh, I just reiterate the, the point that John made here at the end of the, the, the biggest challenge that you run into in a business setting when it comes to, to customers' messaging is, is how do I manage those conversations? Because I can manage my personal conversations on my cell phone, but from a business standpoint, if, if they're, the, the volume's too much or one person can't handle it all, and that's why it's so important to have a customer interaction platform like Podium provides and other, other provide to, to be able to, to manage these in a, in a feasible way, um, reassign them among, among different users and, and employees at the store, and really make that make that a, a seamless transition for the customer, so they can text you just like they would text any of their friends uh, or other contacts on their on their phone. Um, but at a business, you can respond quickly and get that message to the appropriate person. So, uh, a lot of good, a lot of good information in there. Um, what I want to share with you guys and, and the focus uh, for the remainder of the presentation is five ways that we can use text messaging to improve the customer experience. And a lot of these are gonna be, <clears throat> they'll feel a little bit uh, um, kind of common sense, um, but, but it's, good to, it's good to refresh on them and, and think of how, how we can uh, utilize text messaging to, to the biggest advantage to the customer. Um, tip number one is, is appointments, appointment reminders, and <clears throat> any other um, reminders, quick reminders that you're just sending out to the customer uh, to, to make sure that they hold their, their scheduled time, right? Um, in our business, I actually use this uh, to my advantage to remind customers about, a, about an appointment that I might have on the calendar for a phone call um, and something as simple as that. In your business, on the service side, this is going to be really helpful to make sure that customers, when they have a service appointment scheduled, that they actually show up for it. On the sales side, when they schedule an appointment for a test drive, you can text them to remind them, let them know that you have the car ready uh, for them, and um, it'll improve hold times on those appointments and, and reduce no-show appointments. Uh, I got a text this last week from my dentist uh, reminding me about, about my dentist appointment. <clears throat> if I look through my text history with them, uh, I haven't missed a dentist appointment in the last year and a half, I think, because they send those text reminders. Um, and it's something as simple as, as sending out that, that reminder, but it keeps it top of mind for me and, and it'll do the same for your customers. So here's a, here's just a, a quick example of that. You know, Hey, Hey, you can see the, the context of the message, just a simple template that you can send out. It doesn't have to be super customized, but just, just confirming your appointment. The customer can, can text back to confirm, uh, reschedule if needed, um, and, and address any, any other addition, additional issues or concerns there. So <clears throat> appointment reminders is one real common use case that we see uh, dealerships taking advantage of. The second one, the second tip that I would go over is answer question, customer questions um, for product or service or, or their basic inquiries, right? When I think about this, I think about the, the transition. John mentioned this a little bit, but 
the you, we want to have that transition from online searcher to offline buyer be as frictionless as possible. And when we allow the customer to ask their initial questions or their basic questions via text message, it's a lot less intrusive than a phone call. And it's, it's, a, it's a more subtle way to, to facilitate that transition. And so from the, when the customer is browsing your inventory on your website, if they have a question about a specific vehicle or certain trim features or seat configurations or whatever it might be on that vehicle, they can just text that in, get a quick answer right there, and then carry on that conversation throughout, throughout their, their discovery process until they are ready to either call or come in. So I look at this as, as kind of a um, transitional process from, from online searcher to until they're ready to, to come in. Um, here's an example of, of one of those that we see common in, on the Podium platform. You know, how many of, of this color of, of certain vehicle do you have on the lot at this time? And then you guys can provide them the update. Uh, the conversation almost always um, progresses from there till the, you know, till the, till the customer is ready to come in and, and drive the car or, or purchase the car. <clears throat> Upsell opportunities. This one, this one I think is, is oftentimes overlooked and um, uh, it's a big missed opportunity for, for in the dealership space, especially on the service side. I had a recent experience where my car was, uh, my truck was in the shop for a diagnostic of a, of a rattle that was driving me crazy. I, I, I you know, when you buy a new car, <clears throat> the little rattles really get to you. And so they, they had it in the shop. My service advisor called me. I couldn't answer. I called him back. He was with another customer. We played this phone tag just so he could say, hey, we need a, we need an authorized, you know, $150 diagnostic and, and we think we can find it. Anyway, three days later, we finally, we finally got the problem solved and fixed and, and the truck was in the shop, you know, three or four days longer than it needed to be simply because the, the communication wasn't quite there. Now, uh, on the flip side, when I think about how this experience could have gone, if he would have simply text me, you know, the, the, the request for authorization for the, for the diagnostic, that they found the problem, and then he could have also texted me and said, hey, Tyson, while, while we've got the truck in here, I noticed your, your oil change is due or your brake pads are, are due for replacement, whatever the upsell opportunity is, and shoot me over a quick picture of the, of the work, the recommendation, and the price. That's a simple upsell opportunity that, um, you know, that, that dealerships are oftentimes missing out on. And we see that time and time again in the Podium platform. When the service advisor communicates, uh, you know, clearly and, and conveniently with the customer, there's a lot of opportunities for uh, for additional work and, and upsell opportunities in the in the dealership world. There, um, here's one example here um, th that you can see. You know, while we we're while we we're servicing the car, we noticed the air filter was dirty. We can replace it for this cost. Um, the the customer can authorize it right there on the text message you can uh, proceed with the work and, and without skipping a beat, um, you know, have that additional revenue. Tip number four, asking for feedback. Um, feedback from your customers uh, to any business is very critical. You've got to know what areas of the business you're doing well in and what areas you can improve in. So asking for feedback in the, in the most convenient method possible so that you can get the highest response rate is, is um, is a big deal for, for businesses and, and in the dealership space as well. So when you, when you text customers a request for feedback, it's a lot less intrusive than when you get that email request for a survey and it says, hey, take, you know, take three minutes and give us your feedback. Those, those instantly get deleted in most inboxes. Um, my wife actually got a, a letter. It was about a four-page letter in the mail uh, this last week from uh, from a recent shopping experience that they had that she had somewhere asking for survey, um, and without without any hesitation that went you know went in the garbage. People just don't take the time unless it's very very convenient to to provide that feedback. So when you're when you're asking customers for feedback, doing it via text message and keeping the cus the questions very very simple and concise will get you a much better um, response rate uh, when you're when you're asking for that feedback. I just want to jump in real quick. Um, so Podium, we do have a, a feedback tool that allows you to send um, these quick survey questions that, you know, be a text message. And what we found is a lot of the, our dealerships that are using this tool, they're sending that out in advance of the CSIRSI survey, you know, 
being able to catch those problems beforehand and fix them before the actual survey goes out. So that'll you know definitely impact your bonus and things like that. So you're able to catch those problems beforehand because the response rate is quicker, um, and you'll have like know in advance of kind of how how the customers are going to respond when those CSI or SSI results come back in. Great, great point, John. I, I, um, you guys know how how important those CSI scores are to the to the store, and so being able to identify some areas where you can you know improve the customer experience is is going to be critical in a lot of aspects. Um, here's an example, like we like we showed you. Podium can automate a, a message that goes out that just says, hey, you know, how was your experience? The customer can rate it, and then they can give you some, some additional feedback right through the same text message thread um, if they would like. And it, it simplifies the process for the customer, it simplifies it for the dealership, and those response rates just skyrocket. Um, tip number five, answer questions and solve problems quickly. Um, this, this one, I think, just has to do with, with improving the overall customer experience. Um, but anytime, anytime you can you can answer a simple question that doesn't require a phone call, uh, the customer would almost always prefer to do that through text. So maybe maybe an example I'm trying to think of in the dealership setting is when you're trying to get someone approved for finance. If you need their uh, maybe you need a driver's license, they can text you over a picture of the driver's license, or you need um, income verification, something to that extent. They can just simply message that over very quickly, conveniently for them. You can save a lot of the time. I love the I love the time savings uh, aspect of text messaging. I think that's one of the primary reasons that we use it in our lives today so frequently. Um, but but there's going to be a lot of ways that you can answer basic questions. You know maybe a, maybe a customer messages in to see how how much later uh, their salesperson is going to be at the at the dealership so they can so they can make it while they're still there. Um, but any basic communication. Um, can be can be simplified and answered via text. One use case is a message might come in saying, "I was wondering how late you're open on Saturdays." Um, you know, if if they couldn't find the information online somewhere, you can just give them a quick response there and uh, um, help answer basic questions. Closing deals via text message um, might sound like a, sound like a, a far cry, but it happens m much more frequently than you'd realize. There's not a lot of difference in people's mind between closing a deal over the phone or coming in. If they would rather do it via text message, let's let's certainly let them. Obviously, they still have to come in, pick up the car potentially, and and sign some paperwork. We've even had experiences where um, that's all been arranged uh, remotely, and and the car is delivered to the to the customer, right? Where the entire sales process happens via text. But with with video and picture messaging now, you can get the customer almost any information that they need and would want to make their buying decision. Um, between that and what's available online, it's, it's not, um, you know, this isn't, this isn't fantasy anymore. There's, there's numerous experiences that we've seen for where dealerships have closed deals start to finish um, all via text messaging. Um, and then, and then, you know, maybe the customer just comes in to pick things up and, and sign a few things or, or it gets delivered. So, uh, one example here is, is you know, obviously this is a shortened example, but um, you know, the, the customer might inquire about the vehicle, make sure it's, it fits their needs, trim packages, etc. Go over financing offers, and then uh, and then make their decision right right there over the over the text message. Um, inviting customers to review your business. This goes kind of right in line with the feedback that we were asking for where the response rate is going to be astronomically higher than any other communication method. Um, but reviews, the, the, the difference between reviews and, and, you know, kind of generic feedback from, from your customers is reviews are customer facing. Uh, if we think about how we, re, how we use reviews uh, in our buying decisions and our buying processes as consumers, it's, it's uh, almost almost a daily thing now. 89% uh, of customers use reviews when they're when they're making a buying decision or deciding what business to work with. And if we're willing to do it, my my thought process is if we're willing to do it uh, for a $50 purchase on Amazon, read those reviews and and always go with the, the top rated product or, or company. You can bet that your customers are going to do it for for a major purchase like an automobile. Um, so inviting customers to leave your reviews. For the business is very very beneficial in a, in a lot of different ways. Many of you who are already Podium customers know that our review platform is second to none. Um, we've got we've got a seamless process to invite the customers to leave your reviews. If you're if you're struggling at all with with getting reviews from your customers, 
um, we can certainly help in that uh, in that area as well. Um, a few stats on why reviews matter and why they're so critical to the business. Um, most com most most consumers wouldn't do business with a with a with a company that's rated below 3.3 stars. Um, I would even venture to say there's a psychological barrier of anything below four stars that uh, that that takes a big hit to your business. 82% um, of consumers say the content of review has convinced them to make a purchase, um, and that could that could be the same as as to not make a purchase, right? If if you have uh, more negative reviews than positive, and then 93% of consumers uh, say that reviews have an impact on their purchase decisions, um, and that number has is is continuing to rise. I think I think we just live in a review review driven um, economy today, and and that's the reviews are, are what I like to to look at it as reviews are the measuring stick that your customer uses to gauge their trust and confidence that they can have in your business. Okay, just a quick sample of, of how um, Podium's review process works. It, we need to make it as simple as possible. Customers are willing to leave your review if it's easy for them, if it's inconvenient in any way, or takes too long, um, or it's not easy for them, they're, they won't do it. So. With Podium, we, we, we get them right to your review pages uh, that are important to you, whether that's Google, um, Facebook, or any other site, as quickly as possible right on their phone within a click or two. Okay, a um, few other things before as we as we finish up, guys. Um, the Podium Podium wants to make it easy for you to message in 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 the customer's preferred way. So whether that's text messaging the, the dealership number, texting you from your website, um, messaging through Facebook Messenger, Apple Business Chat, Google My Business. There's a lot of different um, avenues that the customer can message you from. What uh, what Podium wants to provide for you is is the ability for you guys to manage and handle those conversations in an easy way, and um, really capitalize on the on the wave that is text messaging, um, because it's it's the, the preferred method of communication today, and and we want to make sure that that your business is the is the easiest for for the customer to choose and and uh, communicate with. And with that, we're going to turn it back over um, to Nick to to start with the Q and A. Excellent presentation, gentlemen. And if you have questions, you have uh, questions please use the the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel, and and we'll get to to them straight away. And, and, and gentlemen, just to start out our conversation, uh, this was actually yeah, one that was uh, emailed I in emailed uh, before we even got started today. It, it stems from number seven in your, um, your tips list uh, with regard to asking for online reviews. Um, you described the, the online platforms that are available. Uh, just how, how what's that? How can dealers balance using a, a platform with, along with a, instructing their dealership personnel to to solicit um, customers for online reviews? Uh, what have been your recommendations of of using uh, the store personnel to, to augment those asks uh, for reviews along with whatever uh, platform they might be using? Yeah. So so we. The way that we recommend people do it is, you know, we, we, we would suggest that you integrate with your um, with your DMS or your CRM to automatically send the review invites once the, the RO is closed. But we want you to do, to have your salespeople um, prepare the customer, let them know that the review invite is going to be coming. Uh, you know what it's going to look like and why it's important for them to respond. And if you do that, if you couple that um, preparation with just sending the review invitation to everyone, then you'll see the number of reviews you have go up significantly. Yeah, and just to, to echo that thought, um, Nick, without without question, if if your if your employees and your guys are, are including a personal request and, a, and an invitation um, for that customer to review them. Uh, that's going to go a long way, but there's a there's a significant difference between asking the customer, hey, go home and review me when you have time, uh, and saying, hey, I'm going to send you a text message to your phone with a link in there that it'll take you 15 seconds to leave me a review right now. The the response rate is going to be significant. So so 
I think John said it perfectly, coupling the, the technology that we have and making it simple for the customer along with those those requests and that ask um, is going to is going to get you the, the highest conversion rate. The voices that you're hearing, that's our special guest for today's webinar, Tyson Brown and John Iyer from, from Podium. Seven ways text messaging will boost your dealership's bottom line. And uh, another question that, that's come in from, from our attendees uh, today, gentlemen, stems from, uh, as from, a, from a legal and compliance uh, aspect. If a, if a lead arrives uh, into the dealership system, uh, what, what, what's best practice recommendation as far as texting right away and making sure that abides by whatever law might might be in place. Uh, how, how can uh, dealers make sure that they can use text messaging in a, in a compliant way? Another great question, uh, Nick. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, with, with When it comes to text messaging, there certainly are regulations and, and compliance uh, issues that you have to be careful of. Um, with uh, with with Podium, uh, at least we've we've made sure and, and addressed those. So when a customer has the opportunity to message you and initiate the conversation via text message, um, they're obviously opting in that that you can text them back. If you get a lead from another source, um, you'll want to you'll want to confirm. So so including in your in the message that you're sending to the customer, maybe including uh, a, an option for them to opt out if they would prefer that you don't text them. But again, the, the main difference here between, between uh, you know, what we're trying to accomplish and, and maybe some other texting solutions that are out there is Podium is a one-on-one -on -one text communication channel. It's not mass marketing text messages, which is why I think a lot of those, those uh, regulations and, and compliance um, laws are in existence. Uh, what we wanna do is if, if the customer would prefer to text rather than a phone call, we we want to do that and, and make it easy for them and so and so it's one-on-one -on -one communication obviously we want to get the opt-in from the customer so if they initiate the contact or the the text message that qualifies as, as opting them in and then also we we have the ability to for them to opt out at any time to make sure that you're that you're in compliance again the voices you're hearing that uh, Tyson brown and john Iyer from podium with today's uh, webinar, Seven Ways Text Messaging Will Boost Your Dealership's Bottom Line. And uh, gentlemen, another, another question that, that's come in, uh, kind of weighing the, the uh, benefits and, and pros and cons, so to speak, of having a text-based uh, web tool versus uh, a, a live chat function that, that might be embedded in a, in a dealership website. Uh, how much more Productive can can the text messaging be over over that uh, live chat functionality that that some websites have? Uh, another great question, Nick. Um, let me uh, let me start off by saying, Podium Podium prefer uh, well we 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 put both options on our website for a time, and the vast majority chose to text over live chat. So. So the data back that, that people would prefer, I would ask that question internally. If you had both options, would you would you rather text or chat? And there are going to be situations where where maybe a customer would prefer to chat. The main advantages that we see um, when it comes to text messaging over live chat is is are, are really two that that come to mind. First and foremost is that that when with traditional browser chat, if the customer leaves the browser, that communication channel is severed. That the, you lose the communication with that customer, and so it requires the customer to stay on that browser throughout the communication. Whereas with text messaging, if they ever leave the browser, that communication channel remains open, and you can you can carry on that that uh, conversation with them throughout the day, week, or or unlimited time frame. The second uh, value and benefit that I think text messaging provides is the response time doesn't necessarily have to be immediate. John mentioned this in, in the first few slides that text messaging is very asynchronous, whereas if the customer texts in and the dealership can't respond immediately, they can respond 15 minutes later and, and it's an active communication channel. And vice versa, if the dealership responds and the customer can't get back to them right away, but, but 10, 10 or 20 or 30 minutes later they can, that communication channel is, is always active. And so those are the main advantages that we see when you compare text to uh, traditional browser chat. Again, that's 
Tyson Brown and John Iyer from Podium for today's, uh, who are our special guests for today's webinar, Seven Ways Text Messaging Will Boost Your Dealership's Bottom Line. And uh, a couple more questions as we, as we close out our time together, gentlemen. Uh, revisiting some of the, the points you made in your great presentation, which will be, uh, we are recording, so keep watch of your inbox uh, for a link to that recording so you can revisit the great recommendations and share it with others at your store. Um, how easily uh, can the text messaging platform be able to send pictures and videos of, of vehicles, of, of potential repairs? Just again, how, how uh, efficient can the text messaging platform to, can be to send more than just, just words, but perhaps uh, pictures and videos as well? Uh, yeah, so our our mobile app is equipped to to send pictures um, and video, both of those things. I mean, there there is a limit. Um, I think it's like a hundred megabytes for video and five megabytes for images. But yeah, we're able to do that. So you can go like if someone is asking about a specific car on the lot, you can go out and take a picture, or if they are, um, or if your service center is you know, wants to ask them about an oil or a air filter if they want to change it. You know, those are things that you can quickly do on the mobile app and, and so you can send and receive images and video. And, and again, something and else again, that you mentioned during the presentation, uh, if a dealership only has a landline, uh, how, how easily can that be uh, converted to, to accept text messages and how beneficial can that be? Uh, yeah, we we addressed that, and I think I think that's one of the 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 big value adds that a platform like Podium can provide. And there you know there's other there's other platforms that can do it, but being able to to convert that landline to a textable number so that if somebody it doesn't change anything on the call on the phone side. If somebody calls the number, it'll still dial into the dealership. But if they text the number, then it will it will you know make that a textable number, and those messages can be received from the same inbox as, as any other message. Um, the other advantage is when you text a customer, that message comes from a familiar number. It's not it's not a short code number that often is red flagged by customers. It's it's the dealership phone number, and uh, and, it, and it just simplifies that communication so that the customer then only has one one channel of communication that they can use to communicate with that dealership, and it'll it'll provide a lot more lifetime customers um, for the business. There's just one caveat if you are using. Um, uh, voiceover, you know, a VoIP line, there might be some limitations to text messaging. So just check out, you know, how, how your line is provisioned and then that will, you know, give you more of an idea of whether you can convert it to a textable number. Yeah, great point. Most, most landlines that are compatible, um, to give you a time frame you asked about, um, we can, we can have that, uh, link set up in about 24 hours. Again, that's Tyson Brown and John Iyer from Podium uh, with our webinar today, Seven Ways Text Messaging Will Boost Your Dealership's Bottom Line. And gentlemen, in the, in the closing moments that, that we have here, just uh, each of you, any, any closing thoughts you'd like to, to leave with our attendees about uh, what text messaging can do for them? Uh, Tyson, begin with you, and, and John uh, can have the last word. Perfect, thanks again for, for taking the time. My, my only thought is this, guys, uh, you know, 15 years ago, if you missed out on email, you missed a big wave. Um, live chat was maybe, you know, five or 10 years ago. Uh, text messaging is the next big wave of, of preferred communication. Um, you know, you, you, you call your grandmother, you email your boss, and you text everybody else. So uh, it, it's no secret here. We're just trying to make it as simple as possible um, and, and stay relevant. Um, for me, um, I, I just selfishly, I'm the product marketing manager over our web chat product. And I just want to give a, a, a big push for that. You know, being able to make it super easy and convenient for you to, for your customers to text you directly from their website, for, from your website is very powerful. We've seen conversion rates, you know, significantly higher um, with that, for that than other um live chat solutions people going you know directly from those uh chats that are started um online to text message and getting them into the dealership you know really quickly is is, is a pretty powerful tool and if you guys have any questions about that or how podium can help you improve 
um, text messaging with your customers, just reach out to, to Tyson or myself. And the final, the final part that we'll put in there, Nick. Oh, sorry. Uh, it just is. is uh, we obviously, if you heard about us through this webinar, um, you know, you mentioned that there's a. I think there's a discount code in there um, that you can mention, and uh, we'd love to, to share with some additional information um, and pricing on the platform. Excellent. That's Tyson Brown and John Iyer from Podium. Seven ways text messaging will boost your dealership's bottom line. Thank, gentlemen, thank you so much for, for the great presentation. Again, more, more details about uh, Podium's products and services is available at their website, podium.com. And for all of us at Cherokee Media Group, I'm Nick Zulovich. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to having you again next time.